This is the Anglophile Channel coming to you from Comic Con 2016, where today we got to talk to the cast and creatives of Sherlock. The dynamic women behind Sherlock. This is the success right here of Sherlock, right? It's all it's girl power. Absolutely, and it's it's having a resurgence. The girl power is, is back on top. And speaking of girl power, look, Mary is kick-ass, like we've never oh. seen her before. And we know some of that is in the writing, but it has to be attributed to your brilliant performance. How much do you love playing her? Oh, she's my favorite character. She's definitely the best character I've played, because she's multifaceted and she's flawed and she's brilliant and she's sassy uh, and vulnerable and uh, she gets to do all manner of things and especially in this next season you see stuff you know I, I've got to play things that I never thought I'd get to do in a series and that's what the, that's what they give us they give us this gift of this character that does all manner of things and and I just I love Mary very much she's off amazing. camera Mark said um, you went to do the crystal maze Yes. Don't even know yes. the crystal maze over yeah. here. He said you were like a cat. <laughs> yeah. Like I a had cat. I had to, I had to get, <laughs> get this crystal from uh, like all these these um, ropes, and I had to climb up. But if and if a bell rang, I would have lost. And it three three Where bells. Was yeah, it was like a no. It was in in, in England. It was for the Terence Higgins Trust. Um, and I did it in record time. And look, so Sherlock is. Uh, are, threatening to end after this season that can't possibly be well I don't quite know where that's come from I think that came from an article where Stephen said I would be very surprised if this is the last good time we do it which turned out to be it's the last time we're doing it that's Here, well, here's a thought for you I mean we saw the trailer and it's absolutely amazing it looks like a film do you think you'd ever do it as a film I mean it belongs up on the big screen film would be good wouldn't film would be lovely actually I think and yeah, I mean, I we'd all be up for doing a film. Wouldn't we? <laughs> and last question for both of you: You're both moms. How are you able to leave work at work and come home and tell them to take out the trash? It just sort of evolves. It's quite um, organic. So, you know, we we manage to juggle being mums and working, and somehow it works. I don't know how. I don't know why, but. Um, Martin's either working and I'm not, so one of us has the kids and the other one doesn't. And of course they have to take out the bins because they have to keep their feet on the ground. They may be brilliant writers and actors, but at the same time, you know. And, St and, Steve, and, I, Steve and I are both here, so our kids are both here. Yeah. But also I think the great thing is if you're working together, if you've had a good day or a bad day, you understand what that means. Do you know what I mean? Whereas I think a lot of people go home and they haven't a clue what their husbands or wives do during the day. You know, and they, they can't help them in the same and way. And we're multitaskers, so it's girl power. It's about women not feeling guilty about working and being a mum. That's the thing. We, we beat ourselves up. Women beat us. We beat ourselves up every day about, oh, God, I'm working, I'm working. But if you can juggle it and it works, you just have to do it. You have to do it. Awesome. I love you guys. Follow, follow, follow this. This is brilliant on Twitter. Follow the Anglophile because she's brilliant. She's oh, awesome. you're sweet. We love you. <laughs> we do love Amanda. Amanda has been so good to the Anglophile channel because she follows us, she retweets us, everything. So we finally got to see her face to face and it was all about girl power. We love her. Amanda. Mwah. Amanda, uh, that Mar Mary's arc was incredible last night. And did not, I mean, legitimately did not see it coming. Did, were you, did you, how, how does this process work in terms of, at the beginning of the season, they sit you down and go, this is what's going to happen, or do you not find out? I didn't know I was going to be an assassin until the third episode when I read it. But, I, that, but I'd been told by um, Stephen and Mark that she had a very dark past and a, and a big secret and that that would be kind of cataclysmic in the third episode. Little did I know I'd have to shoot the hero. Um, but when I read that, uh, I was with Martin when I read it, and uh, I looked at him and I went, they're going to hate me for doing that. And actually, you know, it, it, but, um, but it's an, an, what an amazing thing to play, what an amazing character to play. I think she's, you know, she's, I think she's so well-rounded as, as a character, and she's tricky, and she's independent, and she's sassy, and she's dangerous. And I think that's really that's great for a female actor to play. I love it. If the roles were reversed, would you have read the file? If the roles, I, I would. If I if I'd have, would I've read the third if I had it? Would, no. Would you have read the file about your partner's past? Would you have oh read God, the file? I would. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely.